The Kentucky Senate voted to allow teachers to refuse to refer to transgender students by their preferred pronouns. Senator Max Wise says his bill would protect free speech rights in classrooms. But the bill was denounced by a Louisville lawmaker whose transgender son died recently. Randall Cam joins us live in the studio with more on this controversial legislation. Randall? Vicki, the bill would prevent policies compelling school staff to use pronouns that don't conform to a student's biological sex. Democratic State Senator Karen Berg says referring to children by their preferred pronouns in the classroom is a simple accommodation. Because I'm no longer speaking for my child, you know my child is dead. So I am speaking for every mother and father who has held my hand with tears running down their face saying, what do we do? That's Louisville Senator Karen Berg making a passionate plea to her fellow senators. She asked them to vote against Senate Bill 150. It would prohibit school districts from adopting policies requiring teachers refer to transgender students by their preferred pronouns. Berg told those in attendance a yes vote would mean one of two things. Either you believe that trans children do not exist, or you believe that trans children do not deserve to exist. However, the controversial student pronoun bill dealing with transgender and human sexuality issues in schools has passed the Kentucky State Senate. If it becomes law, teachers would not have to use a student's preferred pronouns. Louisville LGBTQ activist Chris Hartman says passing the bill means big government, not parents, will control the classroom. This is a, a clear attempt to erase transgender kids from the classroom, to encourage teachers and faculty to intentionally misgender them, use incorrect pronouns, use incorrect names for these kids, even if they have the full support of their parents. Well, that measure passed the Senate easily by a vote of 29 to 6. Next stop for Senate Bill 150 is the Kentucky House, where Republicans hold a supermajority. Live in the studio, Randall Cam, WLKY News.